Hi friends, inspired by my sweatshirt today that says tell your dog I said hi, you are going to be getting a crash course in computer vision as it relates to dogs. So first we have to talk about ImageNet. ImageNet is a collection of about 14 million images with about 20,000 classes. What is a class? Class is basically a label of the image, but the labels have a certain taxonomy, a certain hierarchy that basically means that they can be uh, multiple layers. So you could have, you know, let's say furniture, you could have rug, and you could have Persian rug. Each one of those three is a different class. ImageNet was launched by Fei Fei Li, and if you don't know who she is, holy moly, go look her up. She's a thousand times cooler than I am, and was trained using Amazon Mechanical Turk. So at this point, you probably are wondering, when is she going to get to the dogs right now? And I'm going to be telling you about a use case that we developed for uh, dogs coming into a shelter. So the use case is pretty simple. Dog comes into the shelter, adorable dog. Oh my God, can't wait to get this dog adopted. What breed is this dog? And at this point, the shelter is just guessing. So thankfully, in that image net example that I was telling you about, about a hundred of the classes are dog breeds and those are built into most brands general models. And when I say general model, I mean a pre-trained out of the box computer vision model that is meant to grab any photo and give you a general sense, general model, of what is in that photo. So at this point, it is helpful to share two things. One uh, is cloud-based models. So if the, let's say that dog comes in, the person working at the shelter wanted to take a photo of the dog with their phone. If that model goes to the cloud and comes back, it is still crazy fast. The model is hosted in the cloud. The inference speed or the speed that it takes from sending it out, getting the answer, getting the answer returned can be from a few milliseconds to call it like 100 to 300 milliseconds, which is crazy fast. You guys still with me? Awesome. Because the second option after cloud base would be on the edge. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. Edge devices on the edge. What does that mean? That means that the model itself resides on the device and not in the cloud. So that means that let's say that we have developed, um, again, like a mobile app. Let's just use the phone. That means that the model could actually live on your phone. It takes up about 15 megabytes, which is really small. That's like two, three photos. And the inference speed, if you're using Edge, tends to be faster and does not require cloud access. Get back to the dogs. Okay. All right, so the final wrap up here, we've talked about inference speed, edge computing, cloud computing, general models, classes, taxonomy, hierarchy. The end use case was that uh, basically a dog would come in and the person working at the shelter would just have to take a photo of the dog and the general model would automatically label with a percent confidence score what breed it believed the dog was. Now, it's not perfect. A lot of dogs coming into shelters were mixed breeds, but the reality is that if it kind of looked like a German Shepherd, it got labeled as a German Shepherd and would rarely label a Labrador as a Dachshund, and it helped to automate the process. So not all AI totally revolutionizes and changes the world. Sometimes it just helps a little bit. That was the fastest masterclass that I've ever given on computer vision. What'd you think?